music business, the more it says about you. Deacon Frey, the son of the legendary Eagles frontman Glenn Frey, captured the hearts of many when he stepped into his father's shoes after Glenn's passing. But the heartbreaking tragedy of Glenn Frey's son, Deacon Frey, is not just about following in his father's footsteps. It's a story of immense pressure, personal battles, and the emotional toll that eventually led him to make the difficult decision to step away from the band that had defined so much of his life. The Rise of Deacon Frey Deacon Frey was born into a world where music was more than just a passion. It was a way of life. Growing up with Glenn Frey as his father, Deacon was surrounded by the melodies and harmonies that defined one of the most iconic rock bands in history. From a young age, Deacon was naturally drawn to music, learning to play the guitar, and developing a voice that carried echoes of his father's unmistakable sound. When Glenn Frey passed away in 2016, the world mourned the loss of a musical legend. For Deacon, it was a deeply personal loss, but it also marked the beginning of a new chapter in his life, one that would place him directly in the spotlight. At just 24 years old, Deacon was invited to join the Eagles, stepping into the very role his father had left behind. It was a daunting task filled with immense pressure and overwhelming expectations from fans and critics alike. Taking the stage with seasoned veterans like Don Henley, Joe Walsh, and Timothy B. Schmidt was no small feat. Deacon was suddenly thrust into the limelight, performing in front of massive crowds who had grown up with the Eagles' music. The weight of his father's legacy was heavy on his shoulders, and every performance was met with scrutiny. Could he live up to the high standards set by Glenn Frey? Would he be able to carry on the legacy of the Eagles? Regardless of these challenges, Deacon showed remarkable stability. His voice, reminiscent of his father's, brought a sense of nostalgia to the band's performances and his presence on stage was both a tribute to Glenn Frey and a testament to Deacon's talent. However, the road was far from easy. Behind the scenes, Deacon grappled with the pressure of filling such enormous shoes, all while trying to carve out his own identity within the band. Public expectations were high, and the comparisons to his father were inevitable. The Legacy He Inherited from the moment Deacon Frey joined the Eagles, he wasn't just joining a band, he was stepping into a role filled with immense expectations. As the son of Glenn Frey, one of the founding members of the Eagles, Deacon found himself at the center of a legacy that had shaped the very fabric of rock music. The Eagles were more than just a band, they represented an entire era, and now Deacon was expected to carry that torch. The weight of this legacy was immense. Fans who had followed the Eagles for decades expected Deacon to not only fill his father's shoes, but to do so with the same charisma and talent that Glenn had brought to the stage. The music industry, too, watched closely wondering if Deacon could live up to the high standards set by his father. It wasn't just about playing the notes correctly or singing the lyrics with emotion. It was about capturing the essence of what made the Eagles great. Deacon approached this challenge with a deep sense of responsibility. He understood the significance of the role he was taking on and knew that his every move would be compared to his father's. But more than just meeting expectations, Deacon wanted to honor his father's memory in a way that felt true to him. He didn't want to be seen as merely a replacement, but as someone who could carry the torch forward while bringing his voice to the band. However, 
Upholding such a legacy was far from easy. The pressure to perform perfectly, night after night, was intense. Fans were quick to notice any differences between Deacon and Glenn, and while many appreciated Deacon's efforts, there were always those who questioned whether he was the right fit. The Challenges of Filling Big Shoes Stepping into the spotlight as a member of the Eagles was a monumental task for Deacon Frey. While the idea of continuing his father's legacy was noble, the reality of performing on such a massive stage brought with it a host of personal and professional challenges. Each performance was met with scrutiny, not only from the audience, but also from within the band itself. Touring with the Eagles meant living up to the expectations of a band known for its impeccable harmonies and powerful performances. Deacon found himself under constant pressure to deliver the same level of excellence that fans had come to expect. This wasn't just about playing music. It was about embodying the spirit of the Eagles, something his father had done effortlessly for decades. For Deacon, however, it was a different story. The public was quick to draw comparisons between Deacon and Glenn Frey. While some fans embraced Deacon's presence and saw it as a continuation of his father's legacy, others were less forgiving. Every note he sang, every chord he played, was analyzed and compared to Glenn's performances. This level of scrutiny took a toll on Deacon, both mentally and emotionally. It wasn't just about performing, it was about living up to an almost impossible standard. Within the band, the dynamics were equally challenging. Deacon was not just another member. He was the son of a founding member, and that carried its own set of expectations. While the band members were supportive, there was no escaping the fact that Deacon had big shoes to fill. The weight of this responsibility often left him questioning his place in the group and whether he was truly capable of continuing his father's work. The relentless touring schedule and the constant pressure began to affect Deacon's well-being. The joy of performing started to wane as the stress of living up to his father's legacy grew. He struggled with feelings of inadequacy, wondering if he could ever truly fill the void left by his father. Health Struggles and the Impact on His Career as Deacon Frey continued his journey with the Eagles, it wasn't just the pressure of living up to his father's legacy that weighed on him. Behind the scenes, Deacon began to face a series of health issues that would soon take a serious toll on his career. What started as minor discomforts gradually escalated into more significant concerns, affecting his ability to perform consistently with the band. The exact nature of Deacon's health struggles was kept largely private, but it became clear that something was seriously wrong when he began to miss several shows during a crucial period of the Eagles' tour. Fans and the media were left speculating about his absence, and while the band released statements that mentioned an unnamed illness, the details remained vague. For Deacon, the impact of this mysterious illness was profound. The physical strain of performing night after night, coupled with the emotional and mental pressures he was already facing, began to take a serious toll. His energy levels dipped, and the joy he once found in music started to fade as his body struggled to keep up with the demands of life on the road. The decision to step away from the Eagles wasn't one Deacon made lightly. He knew that his absence would not only disappoint fans, but also leave a gap in the band that would be hard to fill. Yet, as his health continued to decline, it became increasingly clear that something had to give. Continuing to push himself could have led to even more severe consequences, and Deacon had to prioritize his well-being. Stepping back, Deacon faced yet another difficult challenge coming to terms with the idea that he might not be able to carry on his father's legacy in the way he had hoped. The decision was heartbreaking, both for him and for the fans who had come to admire his efforts. However, it was a necessary step to ensure that he could recover and possibly return to music when he was ready. His health wasn't the only thing under stress, 
as more challenges loomed on the horizon. The decision to leave the Eagles. After years of performing with the Eagles, Deacon Frey found himself at a crossroads. The pressure to live up to his father's legendary status had always been immense, but as time went on, it became increasingly clear that this burden was taking a toll on him, both personally and professionally. The health struggles he faced were only part of the equation. The weight of expectations and the desire to carve out his own identity began to weigh heavily on his mind. Internally, the dynamics within the band were another factor that played a role in Deacon's decision. While the other members of the Eagles supported him, there was no escaping the fact that he was Glenn Frey's son, a constant reminder of the irreplaceable figure who had once led the band. Deacon was often compared to his father, not just by fans, but within the industry, and these comparisons created an unspoken pressure to perform at a level that few could achieve. The decision to leave the Eagles was not an easy one for Deacon. On one hand, he wanted to continue honoring his father's legacy, but on the other, he yearned to forge his path, free from the shadow of Glenn Frey. The idea of being seen as merely a stand-in for his father was something that increasingly troubled him. Deacon wanted to be recognized for his talents and contributions, not just as the son of a rock legend. Leaving the band also meant stepping away from the security and familiarity of being part of a successful, established group. It was a leap into the unknown, but one that Deacon felt was necessary for his personal growth and mental well-being. He understood that by leaving, he was opening himself up to criticism and speculation. Embrace that part of my life and uh, have confidence in myself and in my creative self. But the need to pursue his artistic vision outweighed these concerns. As Deacon decided to part ways with the Eagles, he knew that the road ahead would be challenging. The security of performing with a world-famous band was behind him, and the path forward was uncertain. But for Deacon, this was a chance to redefine himself as an artist and as an individual, separate from the legacy that had defined his life for so long. But the decision to leave came with its own set of heartbreaking consequences, the public reaction and media speculation. When news broke that Deacon Frey was leaving the Eagles, it sent shockwaves through the fan community and the music world. For many, Deacon had become a symbol of continuity, a bridge between the past and present of the iconic band. His departure was not just a loss for the Eagles, but for fans who had embraced him as a key part of the band's future. The public reaction was a mix of surprise, disappointment, and curiosity. Fans took to social media to express their feelings, with many wondering why Deacon would choose to step away from such a prestigious role. Some speculated that the pressures of living up to his father's legacy had become too much to bear, while others questioned whether there were deeper issues within the band that had influenced his decision. The media quickly picked up on these sentiments, fueling speculation with headlines that ranged from sympathetic to sensational. Some outlets focused on Deacon's health struggles, suggesting that they were the primary reason for his exit. Others hinted at potential conflicts within the band, although no concrete evidence supported these claims. The narrative surrounding Deacon's departure became a topic of debate, with various theories circulating in the press. In interviews, the remaining members of the Eagles maintained that Deacon's decision was personal and rooted in his need to pursue his path. However, the lack of specific details only added to the media's fascination with the story. Rumors about possible disagreements, the strain of touring, and Deacon's desire to establish his own identity outside of the band continued to swirl. For Deacon, the media attention was an unwelcome addition to an already difficult situation. Life After the Eagles Leaving the Eagles marked the beginning of a new chapter in Deacon Frey's life, one that was both challenging and filled with opportunity. 
Free from the expectations of carrying on his father's legacy within the band, Deacon now faced the task of establishing himself as an individual artist. This was a daunting challenge, as the world still saw him as Glenn Frey's son, but Deacon was determined to carve out his own identity in the music industry. The transition from band member to solo artist was anything but smooth. Deacon had to navigate the complexities of building a solo career while stepping out from under the enormous shadow cast by his father's fame. This meant starting from scratch in many ways, writing his music, finding his voice, and connecting with an audience that would appreciate him for who he was, not just for his last name. There were struggles along the way. The music industry is notoriously tough, and even with his background, Deacon had to prove himself all over again. Critics were quick to compare his work to that of the Eagles, often unfairly, and the pressure to deliver something extraordinary weighed heavily on him. Deacon remained committed to his craft, pouring his heart into his music and pushing himself to grow as an artist. But it wasn't all hardship. Deacon also found moments of success and fulfillment in his solo journey. He began to build a loyal fan base that appreciated his unique style and the sincerity he brought to his music. Slowly but surely, Deacon started to establish himself as a respected artist in his own right. His performances, while more intimate than those with the Eagles, were filled with passion and authenticity, earning him praise from those who saw him live. His journey as a solo artist was filled with unexpected twists and turns. The Emotional and Personal Toll Leaving the Eagles marked the beginning of an internal struggle for Deacon Frey. The pressures of living up to his father's legacy and the relentless public scrutiny began to take a heavy toll on his emotional and psychological well-being. These challenges went beyond what the world could see touching the very core of his identity and influencing every aspect of his life. Music, which had once been a source of joy and connection to his father, became a complex and sometimes painful part of Deacon's life. The expectations that came with his name often overshadowed the simple love of playing and creating music. Each note he played seemed to carry the weight of not just his aspirations, but also the legacy he had inherited. This burden began to affect his relationship with music, making it harder for him to find the same fulfillment he once did. The strain also impacted Deacon's relationships with those closest to him, including his family. The pressure to succeed, to prove himself, and to honor his father's memory sometimes created distance between him and his loved ones. They supported him but they also saw the toll it was taking on him. The struggle to balance these demands with his personal life added another layer of complexity to an already challenging journey. Perhaps the most difficult aspect for Deacon was reconciling his own identity. For years, he had been seen as Glenn Frey's son, the torchbearer for a musical legacy that was beloved worldwide. But who was Deacon Frey? beyond the shadow of his father. This question lingered in his mind, leading to moments of self-doubt and questioning his place in the world of music. The journey to find his voice and identity was often fraught with uncertainty and emotional pain. Deacon Frey's journey serves as a powerful reminder of the challenges that come with carrying a legendary legacy. His story reflects the struggles needed to find one's voice in the shadow of greatness. If Deacon's story resonated with you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into the lives of music's most compelling figures. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. In the com